Hey everyone, and welcome back to Life of Pre. I am here in lab on a weekend because, you know, trying to get stuff done before I head home um, for my sister's graduation. So I think today I'll show you our seed grinder, which is a lot newer than the one in a previous video. And I have to make some more DNA extraction buffer, so maybe I'll show you that. We'll see. Stay tuned. And this is why we can't have nice things. Ugh, sadness. I have to go to the one all the way down there now. Which I guess, yay, extra steps. This here is our Geno grinder and is um, a much newer model than the one I showed in a like one of my very first videos. But the premise is still the same. The two plates that I put in need to be balanced. And then this comes down and you tighten it really well because you don't want it going anywhere. So it's good. Close that. Three minutes, good. 1500 and it's gonna be kind of loud off it goes and, yep it looks pretty good that one's empty so it should be like that and yeah you can tell that there is some discoloration and those are actually older leaves so that makes complete sense um, younger leaves are better for DNA extractions, but as long as there's some green, you can usually get something, some DNA. So, yeah, I'll probably extract these tomorrow. It's pretty late in the evening already, so I don't think I want to stay around three, four hours just to do two plates. Okay, so I need more extraction buffer. I'm completely out. And so to make it, I need 100 milliliters of 1.0 Tris HCl, 100 milliliters of 0.5 molar EDTA, 125 milliliters of 10% SDS and 675 milliliters of water. Now I have the 10% SDS, it's like basically soap, and I have a little bit still of the EDTA. However, my Tris got <laughs> contaminated, so I'm about to make more of it. And luckily my sheet says how to do that. Um, and yeah, so that's what I'll be showing now. So to make Tris HCL, it's pretty basic. You need Tris base and I need 121 grams of it. And then I mix it into 800 milliliters of water. So that is now mixing together. It's pretty cool. And I have to bring it up to a pH of 7.5. How do I do that? Well, with this little machine, but we'll have to calibrate it. Here you have your acidic buffer, you have your neutral buffer and your basic buffer. So once we've calibrated the machine, then I can start testing this and I can add HCl as necessary to lower the pH to 7.5, right? The lower the number, the more acidic. The higher the number, the more basic. So the solution started at 11.5 pH. So that was very basic and I've now brought it down to 8.0, but we need to keep going a little bit further. And voila, added more HCl and have it at 7.5 perfectly. With this, I have now restocked my stock solution of Tris HCl and I'm able to finish making the DNA extraction buffer. <sighs> okay, it is 7.30 p.m. I am finally leaving the lab. It's been a good evening in lab. Got a lot of stuff done, advanced some more gels. Um, and it was a good break from the stats. I literally did stats from maybe like 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And after that long staying at a screen and thinking math, you know your head starts to hurt so it was good to actually get outside and do something physical now i'm heading off to dinner with some friends um they put on the chat that they're going to like davis noodle city or something downtown so i'm looking forward to that because it means i don't have to cook um so yeah i think i had pork in the fridge but noodles sound really good <laughs> anyway i hope you all had a wonderful saturday see you tomorrow